Hey guys, Jeff Christian here today with just a quick introduction because I've got a lot of people who'll be watching this are probably new to this channel. I mainly do anime anime content, but I just want to start getting into more live action shows. So I did a poll for book two polls for two new live action shows, Brooklyn Nine Nine one and End of the Fucking World one. Dark didn't get a lot of votes, but it has been recommended quite a lot. And because it's my channel, I can decide what I want to watch. I added Dark as well, mainly because the fan base behind Dark seem very passionate about it, and I'm very curious why they why you all love it so much. Like everywhere I go, you. Everywhere I go, I see like people talking about Dark and how bloody good it is, and it's people saying how underrated it is, and not many people watching it. So I'm curious to see why it's getting all this praise, as that just piques my interest anyway. And it's not too long, and yeah, I've only seen a few screenshots. I don't actually know that much about it. I am interested though to see why it's so why it's so why people are loving it so much. So yeah, I thought you know what I I can fit in another show, so Dark One, and it's not too long, so I'm not too bothered. But yeah, guys, I hope you do. Hope you in, hope you enjoy this reaction. If you do, make sure you subscribe. Like I said, I'm doing Brooklyn Nine Nine and End of the Fucking World at the same time. So I'd be happy to have you along for those episodes of the reactions as well. But yeah, I'm really curious to check this out. I believe it's in German, but it's subtitled. Not a big deal for me. I watch a lot of anime, so sub subtitles I can deal with. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this reaction. Let's jump into this. Oh yeah, if we're also new here, guys, I do have to fade the videos for copyright reasons and blocks. People say, oh, why do you do that? It's mainly because when I didn't do that, my channel got taken down about five times in a row. So, but when I faded it, I've had no problems for about a year now. So hopefully you can understand. Also, audio tends to be a bit lower when there's music because, or borderline muted because I have a lot of problems with music. Hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. Let's jump into this. Very curious. I'm not going in with like unreasonable expectations, but I am excited to see what's so great about it. Seems to be a lot of emphasis on time. Wonder what that's about. Past, future, and present. Imagine just finding that in someone's house. June twenty-first. Oh, I might be able to pick up some German words. I know nine, nine. God, the music's fucking sinister. I like it though. Good use. Oh, he's committing suicide. Shit. That was really unexpected. Oh, that's why he's writing the letter off and he had a picture of his family. I wonder what happened. I don't, I'm trying to look around the room see if there's any little details. But he had kids and stuff as well. Is that his son? Ooh, his intro. I don't know where this is shot, that's pretty cool. I feel like this is going to be really fucking creepy. Okay, it's about some some recent time then. Oh, it's November, so you can open the letter, can't you? Well, they always love when shows are done in other countries, you get like a little sense of culture, and there's this different scenery that I'm used to. So like the house designs and the photos and the way things are laid out, it's always cool. Oh, beautiful. Looks like I'm going to have to edit some of this out. <laughs> Mate, it's really nicely shot so far. I like the camera angles are using. And they've nailed the music. Like One thing I always praise anime for is the way they utilise music and don't have to keep using popular songs. Which I feel a lot of shows need to use popular songs these days. It's just like they don't suit the show. Whereas so far, the two couple of soundtracks it's used so far fit it perfectly. Oh look, it's me! My beard. I think this is the first German show I've ever watched. Oh, guys, it's dark. Not creepy at all. Warum er sich scheiße normal erhängt hat! Warum er kein Wort hinterlassen hat! Nichts, was diese ganze Scheiße erklärt! A little outburst, say he's not showing much emotion yet, and then he just had an outburst like that fits. Alright, who's the woman? So, is, is it a missus on his left, and then like someone else? Who's on his right there? Hey, we can open the letter. Wait, what? Isn't he what he was fucking the other girl? Cheating on his wife then? Mate. What prick? I assume, I think it's him. <laughs> I'm a hunger strike. 
This just reinforces why I don't want kids. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. I understand that like, your kid's gone missing, but there's only to spit on people. Oh, that's what you don't do, say that to the parents, mate. Don't promise shit like that, mate. Fucking hell. Someone has a crush. Wait, did you just go out? What's going on? This, that seems really awkward. <laughs> I don't know why they always try and go for the easy answer of the runaway instead of just fucking trying to track him down. Even if the evidence stacked against that he's gone missing. Well, I guess, I don't know, not copper, maybe the people run away all the time and they get false calls. That's a shit reason, mate. That's such a crappy reason to dismiss a case. Oh, because nothing happens in town, so. I like the fact the show's like slowly building up something quite early on. What's happening? Oh, go up to that guy's here. I like how they're building up like the mystery and the history of the town in this episode, giving that lore drops and stuff. They just go into a flashback. Waving BB right round. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't ex I didn't expect that. Reminds me of um Oh boys. Alright, so the, I like, I love I didn't leave that in suspense, just showing us straight away what's going on with him. I know what I wanna know what the beef is between them. Horny bastard, isn't he? Smooth player, smooth. Bloody hell, hello. Mate, I kinda of feel sorry for her. Ooh, it's gonna smell with the woman. The hair. The hair, yes, he's been caught. Ooh, man's going to be in trouble when he gets back. That just starts the paranoia. They're not messing about in this show, are they? You'd think they'd drag on something like that. Can we open the letter, you intense woman? God, let's open the thing. I didn't know I had a specific time on it. That's probably why then. Hi. Right, we're going to find out what's going on with these two. I don't know if I'm missing something. Why is he talking about in the middle of the woods at night? Fucking hell, come on. Hey. Walk into the forest when it's dark with creepy music. Great idea, guys. He saw something, mate. It's triggered him. Is she that horny? Fucking hell. Oh, stop using that lowest crime rate bullshit. Anything can happen anywhere. There's fucked up people. Fuck quiet towns are probably the best place to do that sort of shit. Nowhere safe, it's all false security. <laughs> Mate, guy's actually technically right. <laughs> That's true. Niemand ist tot und niemand wird nicht gefunden, okay? Jetzt wird das Thema wechseln. Okay, the kid was getting deep there, weren't he? 
Waschi, dass wir alle an einem Strang ziehen. Wichtig, darum geht es doch jetzt gar nicht. Oh, look what she, all oh, she's caring about is her bloody hotel. Oh God, there's a kid missing. Falsch, es geht hier um ein verschwundenes Kind. Der ist wahrscheinlich einfach abgehauen. Hast du doch gerade... So she just wants that to be true, so bis she gets business again. Mate, man just walked in here in his pyjamas. Oh boy, I'm ready, come on. Open it. Mate, fuck's sake. <laughs> Mate, can we get away from this cave? That cave is creepy as fuck. Run. Run. I'm guessing this is our main cast of characters then. Why is Jonas just staying there? There we go, fucking hell, guys. Well, whatever happened 30 years ago has definitely happened then. Oh, don't trip over. Why do you have to trip over in the woods? Now you've been left behind. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Mate, when you get that Slenderman vibes. What's he seen here, honey? That's creepy. It's whispering. This is his dad. It's going to show his dad, isn't it? Oh god, that's not nice. Well, I can't read German, so look what I said. Where's the kid? We should have brought him with you, should you, you idiot? That's what you get for bringing a kid with you, you retard. I love how he ran off without even making sure his brother was with him. You can't even blame Jonas because it's his brother, he should be the one looking after him. What's going on? I have so many questions. I need answers. I don't expect many times soon though. Mate, his dad's good. His dad's talking him now. I bet his dad's probably gonna blame him for the loss of his son. Oh, don't go in there. Why would you go in the cave without any backup? Oh shit, is that his body? Oh, has he already been killed? Oh, he was actually killed. He weren't captured. Oh, that's not good. They didn't drag that on. Fucking hell. Mate, his brother's not going to be able to deal. It's going to be fucking... What killed him so quick? Is that him? Or was he a different kid? I can't remember what he was wearing. Oh no, someone else. Wait, what? What the fuck? So is there a time limit for the kids then? They get stolen and do something to them. So is he going to be in the same situation as kid now? Because yeah, that thing's going to close around his eyes. Alright, so they will capture the kids and then we'll just leave the bodies in the forest then. Definitely an interesting start to a series, I will admit. Um, yeah, no, um, the, the shots, I really, really like the music, the shots that we used in this show were really well done. I like the sort of atmosphere of it, like that sort of like mysterious, what is it like, mysterious, intense. The atmosphere was really well done. Um, it was shot really nicely. I didn't like it was shot really well. Um, but yeah, it seems like this show is quite focused on generations. Like at the start, it goes past, present, future, and then it was talking about this happened 33 years ago prior. Um, we got this whole mysterious cult thing or whatever they're doing to these kids. They're kidnapping the kids and doing whatever to them, and then blatantly it does something to their eyes. Like they're making them see shit because their eye, that kid's eyes was completely gone. So whatever the fuck they did with him. Um, the characters all seem alright. It seems we've got our group of squad of children. We have our adults set out. There seems to be a lot of relationship linking between all the characters, which we're going to slowly unravel and learn through as we go. But yeah, overall, good impressions of the show. It looks like mainly this is all setting up the mysteries, setting up the show, getting questions and stuff. They're not going to get answers and stuff yet. So it was a lot of that. So I'm sure we're going to unravel the story more as we go. But otherwise, I. Uh, yeah, this is something like if I watched the first episode, I'd be interested to watch the next. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. If there's anything I missed, feel free to explain as long as it's not a spoiler. 
um, give me any criticism if or anything I could change. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. This should be every Sunday, by the way, just so you know. Peace.